and welcome back. Yes, a sky ray. Why are you building a sky ray, Lenny? I don't know. Um, I quite fancied it actually. 70 seconds, Tamia. Yeah. What more do you want? Anyway, yes, the sky ray. A very, very sort of like unknown aircraft in my honest opinion and something that I think has been overlooked with the exception of Tamiya of course you can get this in 72nd and in 48th and yes can I get hold of a 48th one no anyway the 72nd one it is a lovely kit thus far um, there are minimal parts the parts that you do see are very very nicely rendered as in the actual cockpit, you would well assume with some manufacturers that will be yep yeah, just a just a stick and a panel and that'll be it. No, the actual ejector seat comes in three separate parts. Um, there is nice detail on the side of the actual instruments um, bay or panels, and yes, you do get a decal for the main instrument panel, but once it's in, it looks pretty cool. Anyway, the main build. Yes, it's quite simplistic. Um, you just put in the, well, I put in the hard points now, uh, purely because, well, I had nothing else to do and I had things to dry. But with that, you're not really gonna knock them off if you're that careful, and especially if you're gluing them with um, Tamiya Extra Thin. Now, my loadout, um, it was originally going to be two sidewinders, two um, fuel tanks, and two actual um, rocket pods, which would be on the outer wings. But I did a bit more investigation. I had a look, and this actual aircraft was a interceptor uh, for the Navy. In fact, it was the first Delta Wing uh, interceptor. And as interceptors go, unless you're going to take down a bomber with rocket pods, or I didn't really see why I should have them on there. So I took them off. So this is only going to have the fuel tanks and the sidewinders actually on the actual finished model. Now, this actual aircraft, um, it first sort of like started its, well, its birth uh, in 1947. And it had various improvements. It made it sort of like its main maiden voyage or maiden flight in January 1951. It, yeah, it missed the Korean War as far as I know because it never saw any operational or wasn't even in use in combat which is well good in a way but you don't really know its real potential performance uh, in actual conflict but anyway it was taken out of service in 1965 um, just on the eve of the main sort of like influx of troops into vietnam now like i said would it have been a decent aircraft well on paper yeah um it's extremely fast uh, for, for what it is. It's quite a sizable aircraft, actually. Um, but, yeah, it's a funny old thing, isn't it? It does look a bit weird. However, I like it, and I like weird. Just ask Rob. Anyway, on with the build. Yes, um, I sort of like, did some mix and matching, uh, did the, as you can see, the wheel wells there. Um, this part here, as in the front part of the engine, um, I'm gonna say in future, if you're gonna build this kit, um, don't bother, um, cause you can't see it. Um, hook by crook, unless you wanna get a, a thousand bazillion watt bulb um, flashlight, you're not gonna see it. But anyway, moving on. Yes, um, I decided to add some seat belts um, just because there isn't any. And I didn't have anything in 172nd as in photo etch. So I found, literally found, um, a sheet of um, lead. And yeah, cut them to size-ish. 
um, stuck them on and, and just painted them. So yeah, it's just a, a little bit of a an addition to the actual cockpit once uh, all the painting is done. Unfortunately, the canopy um, is going to be closed, but hopefully with the amount of light you should have coming through, you should see some of the detail. Anywho, I've waffled enough. I'll let you watch the rest of the video. So there you go, that is the main build finished. Um, it went together extremely well. Um, the sort of like the front part of the fuselage to the main part, that went on an absolute dream. And it just remained me to actually just get the old um, sanding sponges out and actually clean it up. The canopy, that fitted mm, really nice. So all the question is now is, I've got to paint it. So yeah, join me on the next video where I'll be painting it. So until then, ta-da!